Picture this. You've just bought the ugliest house on the block. The neighbors are thanking you for finally doing something about that eyesore. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we've taken the plunge into the exciting world of home flipping. This is where the magic happens. It's like being on a roller coaster, but instead of screaming, you're holding a deed to a fixer-upper and a blueprint for greatness. Imagine feeling the thrill of the hunt, scouring the real estate market for that diamond in the rough. And then, the exhilarating rush when you finally land on the perfect property. The one that's just the right amount of ugly. The one that just screams potential. We're talking about houses that look like they've been hit by a tornado, survived a zombie apocalypse, or played host to a band of unruly raccoons. But hey, that's just character, right? Now it's time to roll up our sleeves and get to work. Who needs a gym membership when you've got a sledgehammer and a dream, am I right? There's nothing quite like that first swing of the sledgehammer. It's like a symphony of destruction and profit. Now, you might think gutting a house is all sweat and grime, but let me tell you, there's a certain satisfaction to it. Imagine, you're standing in a room you've decided is ripe for renovation. You take your sledgehammer, and with a swing that would make a Major League Baseball player proud, you send a wall crumbling down. The sound of plaster and wood hitting the floor is music to your ears. It's not just a wall you're knocking down, but also the barriers to your future profits. Ripping up the old stained carpet is like peeling back layers of history, revealing a floor that's begging for a makeover. The dust might make you sneeze, but each particle is a promise of dollars to come. And just like that, the house is a blank canvas, a very messy, dusty canvas, but a canvas nonetheless. With the dust settled and the rubble cleared, it's time for our ugly duckling to become a swan. It's time to replace the chaos with the charm, the dilapidation with the dazzle, the old with the new. It's time for the transformation. The renovation process is like a wild roller coaster ride. There are highs, there are lows, and sometimes there are unexpected loops. But all of it is part of the journey to creating a beautiful home. First things first, you've got to choose your materials. This is like picking out your superhero costume. Will you go for the classic elegance of hardwood floors or the modern sleekness of polished concrete? Perhaps the soft allure of plush carpeting? And let's not even get started on the paint colors. Every shade of white is somehow different, right? Then comes the redesigning of spaces, which is kind of like playing real-life Tetris. You move walls around, trying to fit everything into place and hoping to create that perfect layout. And who knew that deciding where to put a bathroom could ignite such passionate debates? Managing contractors is another crucial part of the transformation. It's a bit like herding cats sometimes. You've got to keep everyone on the same page, make sure they're sticking to the schedule, and ensuring the work is up to scratch. And of course, there's always room for a few surprises, like discovering an old wallpaper that looks like it was designed by someone on a sugar high, or dealing with a plumbing system that's as stubborn as a mule. These unexpected discoveries often add a little spice to the renovation saga. But with every snag you hit, every hurdle you overcome, you're one step closer to that glorious end result. With each passing day, the house starts to shake off its old, weary skin and reveals a fresh, vibrant one beneath. Finally, after all the sweat, tears, and probably a few choice words, your masterpiece is complete. You've taken a house that was once a fixer-upper and transformed it into a stunning, desirable home. The ugly duckling has indeed become a swan. Now comes the moment of truth, the big reveal. And no, we're not talking about a dramatic curtain drop or a surprise visit from a TV crew. This is the time when you get to show off the fruits of your labor to the world. You've hammered, painted, and polished every nook and cranny of this place, and it's time to let it shine. Staging the home is a bit like dressing it up for a first date. You want it to look its best, but not so overdone that it's unrecognizable. Then it's time for the photo shoot. Think of it as the house's modeling debut. It's all about capturing the best angles, the most flattering light, and showcasing its unique features. Once it's listed on the market, the anticipation builds. You're waiting, hoping, and maybe even losing a bit of sleep, wondering when those first offers will start to trickle in. It's a nerve-wracking time, but don't lose heart. And then, just when you're about to start wondering if you've made a huge mistake, the offers start rolling in. And there you have it, folks. From ugly duckling to beautiful, profitable swan. Now let's dive into the juicy part of our flipping journey. The financial aspect. You know, the part where we get to see the fruits of our labor in the form of sweet, sweet cash. Picture this. 
You've spent weeks, maybe even months, transforming a dilapidated house into a dream home. You have sweat, cried, and maybe even bled a little. But when you finally sell that house and see the profit margin, all the blood, sweat, and tears suddenly become worth it. It's like finding a $20 bill in an old pair of jeans, but multiply that feeling a thousandfold. So how much can you really expect to make from a flip? Well, the answer is as varied as the houses you'll flip, but let's just say, if done right, you could be looking at a six-figure income, not too shabby for playing real-life fixer-upper, right? Now I want you to imagine the joy of cashing that first big check, the feeling of accomplishment, the satisfaction of knowing that your hard work has paid off, literally. It's like winning the lottery, but better. Because you didn't just get lucky, you earned it. But remember, flipping is not just about making money, it's about the thrill of the hunt, the satisfaction of transforming something old into something new, and the joy of creating a space that someone will call home. It's about the journey as much as the destination, and let's not forget there's also the potential for a good chuckle. Like the time you accidentally painted the kitchen neon green, or when you discovered that the antique bathtub you bought was actually just a very old tub. So what are you waiting for? Grab that sledgehammer and start your own flipping journey. Just remember, the uglier the house, the bigger the potential for profit. Happy flipping!